Hey everyone, this is Josh from Movies Please. What do you do when over the weekend a bajillion trailers comes out and you primarily on your channel, you review or react to movie trailers, but you just don't have time to watch them all. What do you do? Well, as you probably know, over the weekend, the D23 convention happened and I think the count was like maybe uh, like 127 trailers came out over the weekend. So obviously I don't have time to watch all of those trailers right now. So what do you do? Well, if you have any common sense, you go to YouTube trending, take a look at the most popular trailers from over the weekend, and then maybe you review the top one or two, correct? In this case, it would be Marvel Studios' Secret Invasion trailer. But I don't want to review that one. So maybe you look down, oh, the, hey, the uh, Little Mermaid trailer is creating a bunch of buzz. Maybe you would review that trailer, react to it. But I don't want to talk about The Little Mermaid. I think the trailer looks fine, but I, I don't really want to go end up talking about it. So Josh, which trailer do you want to talk about? Well, of course it would be for me, The Santa Clauses. Some of you are thinking, why The Santa Clauses? Because, I don't know, I think I came out at the perfect age when Tim Allen was, uh, he was an A-lister. You know, I know people talk about they look at the Toy Story movies and they think, oh, it's Tom Hanks and that, that, you know, way below Tim Allen. In the 90s, guys, Tim Allen was Disney's bread and butter. I mean, Disney had their animated movies, but Tim Allen, as far as live action comedies, was huge for them. You had the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus in its first sequel were pretty big hits for them. And then, of course, the Santa Claus 3 came out, the Escape Clause and just was not very good at all. I think there were some problems behind the scenes. Uh, if you read the junior novelization to that movie, which was adapted from the original script for the Santa Claus 3, it actually, the script for Santa Claus 3 was actually better. I'm not gonna say it was great. It's not like it was some uh, undiscovered masterpiece that didn't get realized on screen, but it was better. Uh, the script for Santa Claus 3 gave Jack Frost a better resolution. Um, it had uh, better descriptions of things in the Santa Claus 3, such as the, the room with the snow globes, which was described much more magically in the original script and in that novelization. Um, am, I even, am I saying that word? In the novel. I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly, but in the novel. And of course, there was a fun cameo from uh, Molly Shannon, who was in Santa Claus 2. She came back for Santa Claus 3. And, uh, but all that stuff, all that stuff for somehow, somehow from this, from the script to the screen, the Santa Claus 3 was messed up. Um, it just, it just wasn't great. Martin Short was great. Tim Allen seemed a little tired. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was just fed up with some of the things that were happening behind the scenes. I don't know. But, um, here we have the trailer for the Santa Clauses. It's going to be a TV series for Disney Plus. And I, for one... I'm kind of excited about it. I just want this series, this franchise, to go out on top. I want it to have a good resolution. It's hard to believe that the Santa Claus 3 was in 2006. And I know it airs all the time on Disney Channel, but still, um, a lot of you just don't realize what a phenomenon the Santa Claus, the original one, was in 1994. So to see it or any other series, I'm talking about any series, I hate seeing movie franchises peter out so to speak just fade away you know they just each sequel is worse than the last and then finally the series just bombs it just floats away you know just bombs and i'm hoping that the santa claus is, is a grand return to form and then the the franchise is done and that's what i'm hoping from this well anyway i've rambled on enough and this video is probably going to get going to get like 25 views max uh, like my last santa claus's video but uh, I do just want to, this, this, of all the trailers I've seen so much about Disenchanted and Hocus Pocus 2 and uh, The Little Mermaid, and I, I just want to talk about the Santa Clauses. So let's take a look. Attention everyone. Santa has an announcement to make. For the good of Christmas. The good of my family. Some nice cinematography. I, Santa Claus, have decided to retire. <laughs> we have a grief concert, right? You're interviewing to you become Santa Claus. Yes. Can't wait to rub this in Brady's face. <laughs> Give us your best ho, ho, ho. Oh, okay. Here we go. 
Ho, 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 Omaha, ho, Omaha. You see that? I called a little audible there. Anyhow, thanks so much. I sing, by the way. <laughs> no, Brady can sing. <laughs> And so that was it. It was just a brief tease. Seam might not even be in the TV series for all I know. It, was just, it looked like one of those teasers that uh, sometimes I think especially Disney does where the scene isn't even in the movie. Just kind of wants to get you talking. And um, I, I, think, I mean, what is there to say? It, hey, it's Tim Allen as Santa. I will say that the beard I'm not crazy about. I, I get that there's a challenge there for the for the filmmakers in that okay they want to stress they want to portray that santa's getting on up there in years the thing is santa always looks old santa this santa claus looked old when tim allen was what in his early 40s i think the first when the first film came out santa claus looks old how do you make an old character look old if you get what i'm saying like really old well here i mean they've kind of just the beard, I, I don't like it, but I get it. Uh, they made it, you know, he's kind of just like your hair thins on top. Okay, the beard's getting shorter, which is kind of like in the um, in the Santa Claus 2 when Santa starts getting less magical, you know, his beard shortens and that as well. <clears throat> so I'm thinking maybe Santa's getting on up there, so he's losing some of his powers maybe. His powers are weakening. Um, I've heard some people say, well, wait, I thought he couldn't stop being Santa. Well, I think there's, pro there's probably a retirement clause. Um which kind of makes, my gosh, with every, with every sequel this franchise has, it makes the first film, Santa, even more depressing in that, you know, you imagine that Santa that Tim Allen killed in the first movie, you know, maybe he was close to retirement and here comes Tim Allen, just that makes him fall off a roof and die. The series is a little bit dark when you really think about it. But on the plus side, I do think this has some pretty decent cinematography and I, would, I hope that maybe Martin Short does a cameo. Maybe we'll, great to see Bernard back and uh, you know, we'll just see who else pops up. Um, but anyway, there are my random thoughts on, of all things, the trailer, the teaser trailer for the Santa Clauses. Uh, again, what can I say guys? I know I know, like <laughs> every other YouTuber right now. And of course, this is, this is the first episode where I'm promoting Movie Palette, where you can get these beautiful, sophisticated canvases that uh, are inspired by your favorite movies. I've gotten one from The Dark Knight, and you can you see the, the movie brought to life through the colors on the canvas that are so vibrant and beautiful. You put that on your wall. It's the entire movie portrayed in one single image, and it's so cool. And you can get it 15% off uh, use the code MOVIES15, that's MOVIES15, get yourself a 15% discount, get you one of those today, I'm sure that they have, they have movies, they have movies that are, uh, are black and white, I looked up one of my other favorite movies, It's a Wonderful Life, so I'm sure your favorite movie, your favorite TV show, you can get a canvas, it'll look beautiful on your wall. What are your thoughts on the Santa Clauses? Let me know in the comments, it comes out November 16th on Disney+, Plus. and uh, I will see you guys later, thanks so much for watching.